What's going on? I'm Janika Renee here with Alfred Telefero. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. So this is going for it's mrtelefero.com and JaniqueRenee.com and also on our YouTube channels. Be sure to subscribe and find them. We're here with our own his and hers version for the NBA playoffs. We're taking over. This is a new the new school version of the Hits and Hers, uh, me and Janika. I've heard so many great things about Janika, and I just want to work with her personally. Yes. Just like see where's her sports acumen at. I've, I hear you talking on Twitter and Instagram. Okay. I gotta know where you at with it. Okay. As far as sports and the NBA Finals that are upon us. Okay, so we're gonna get right to Let's it. Get into it. Basically, first question is, who do you see winning the NBA Finals? I'm going Golden State. I'm going Golden see? State, and I know this is <laughs> going to take you off. <laughs> But they have all the momentum. Uh, they're 67 and 15 in the regular season. Um, they basically dominated every team in the postseason. I don't see anything stopping them. I know you. Let LeBron's me tell you who's gonna stop them. Let me tell you who's gonna stop oh, them. Oh Lord. LeBron James is gonna stop them. <sighs> J.R. Smith is gonna stop them. Oh, no. Amy Schumper is gonna stop them on defense, especially. Okay. Okay. That's that's who's gonna stop them. Yeah, y'all have the MVP, but. We have LeBron James. Don't just try to downgrade the MVP. <laughs> yeah, y'all have the MVP. Like, this dude didn't average, like, 25, 7 assists, 4 rebounds in the regular season. Steph Curry has been putting on the show. Okay. And you're saying LeBron did? Oh, no. LeBron definitely had a really good um, season when he got back from his injury. He definitely put on the show. He definitely led the Cleveland Cavaliers to the postseason. But he isn't where Steph Curry has been this year. He's just not where Steph's at with it. Let, let me take let me okay let me read off these stats read them for him this season Steph Curry averages 23.8 points 4.3 rebounds and 7.7 .7 assists LeBron James 25.3 points 6 rebounds and 7.4 assists let's just throw in a disclaimer All LeBron right. did sit out for an extended, extended period of time and still average more points than Steph Curry he sat out, which means he less games were put in were averaged in. You know where I'm going with that. And also, uh, Steph Curry has so many weapons around him. He still averaged 23, 24 points a game with all the weapons they have around him. LeBron, don't get me wrong. I, you, that's your boy. Okay. I'm sorry, but okay. they got they about to go down. I'm sorry. So Cavs are without Kevin Love, and Clay Thompson has been diagnosed with a concussion. How important are these two people? Well, these two players for their teams. Well, you know, I picked Golden State, but I'm not gonna even lie to you, Janika. Clay Thompson is really important because I'm guessing he'll get a little work with LeBron, right? You know, defending LeBron, he's six seven, um, long as well. You got Draymond Green and Iguodala, but as far as um, Kevin Love is concerned, he's not important at all. They've done good. <laughs> to be honest with you, let's just be honest about it. Okay. They play better with Tristan Thompson. They have more chemistry. LeBron and Tristan Thompson, best friends off the court, same agent, Rich Paul. They play better without him. So what do you got with that? What do you think about those two I, players? Kevin Love, he's a very important factor. He was very important in the regular season. Mm -hmm. But now they've made it to the finals without Kevin Love. So my thing is he's he's very important, and we need him on the sidelines rooting us on as far as he can yeah. and as much as he possibly can but we don't actually need him in the finals and we wow. can't make it without him if he comes well, no he can't come back he, Kyrie Irving he's been hurt yeah he's coming back it's a great thing that we